Hello again, and it's time for another project. We've made one of these before, but I've been asked by a friend if I can make them one, so there you go. What can we say? Same procedure. We've got our template. The way I do it is literally just to tape it to the piece of wood underneath, get your carbon paper underneath, and you're good to go. Start drawing around it, and basically, you can see we'll end up with, with the lines that we need to follow. As always, I'm going to use my little CNC bits. These are beautiful. I love these, to be honest. They're ideal for drawing around the lines here, just to separate the two pieces of wood. And then we'll put on a bigger piece for these larger sections. Most of the smaller stuff, we'll just keep this on. They do have a small shaft on them so you require what they call a collet and that's literally just a metal tube with some slits in it and you'll slide that over like so put that into your router and that will grip onto that and that will fit perfect let's set our depth normally I have a little depth charger like this and you can set it to what depth you like we don't have to go too deep with this one because all the background is going to be filled with resin again. So just enough. And then we make a little barrier around this, the edge here. Must be like a little dam. You can just about see that. And that will stop the resin from running over the edge. Recycled wood again. This was an old table. Which I basically just cut round with a bandsaw. Put on the sander machine. It's all nice and smooth. We're all good to go. Let's start doing some routing. Right, we've gone around all our lettering and had the moon himself. No disasters whatsoever. These smaller pieces I just take out with the CNC bit because you're just not going to get in there. Anything smaller than that, you'll struggle to get in. All that's left now is to do this little lip. And that's basically our barrier just to stop the resin rushing off the end. With it being on the end of the piece, I always get myself a bit of scrap wood like so, obviously the same bit, and that will give you just more room because you're so near the edge, like so. If you didn't have that piece of wood, and as you went into that, it's just a bit more of a, a balancing act. So get yourself a bit of scrap, and you've got a full platform like that to lean on. Okay, we'll go around the edge now. And then we'll change the piece and start removing the stuff around the letters. Right, you can see from that, I've gone all around the edge. So that's our little dam built. So hopefully that'll stop any resin pouring over the edge. I don't show a lot of filming with the router because it's the same thing. Once you've seen a few lines done, it's just the same procedure. Nothing too exciting. Right, you can see I've took a bit away there. That's been uh, with a quarter inch, obviously that relates to the shaft, by one eighth imperial straight bit, I believe. That's ideal. That'll soon pop out, and whenever we get to any bits that have been cut out like so, they'll pop away without causing any damage, even onto these smaller bits, like round here and stuff. You can also get a quarter inch by quarter inch. There's a double-sided blade on this one. 
but obviously with it being so thick you wouldn't fit it inside these smaller ones well not too safely anyway especially down there like so so that one probably won't get used today so we're we'll finished we'll pop this one on now set it to our depth which will be there and then we'll start clearing all this out and then we'll be on to our resin side of things Okay, you can see from that we've gone all the way around we've not had any disasters came close on this letter E if you can see a little bit more took off that corner than I would have liked and that was because the knot was there and it pulled me to one side but we've got to wave it okay next stage just gonna go out with our little Dremel with one of these engraving bits on just give it a general tidying up just get rid of some of these little bits that are lying around and then we'll give it a nice sanding down because I want to take away these edges here just to round them off slightly nothing too dramatic it just takes that sharpness off then once that's done some linseed oil just to darken this wood back down again and the sides which are obviously very white at the moment and then we'll start putting our multicoloured resin in so let's start just tidying this up generally with the Dremel and sandpaper. Right, that's all nicely cleaned up now. Going around it the best we can. I wouldn't be overly concerned about the background of this because it's all going to be covered with resin, remember? So that'll cover, cover a multiple of sins there. Right, next stage, I'm just going to throw some linseed oil on. Basically, just to darken this down again. You'll see how it kicks in. We'll let this dry and then we'll start putting our resin. So we'll just cover that like so. You can see that lovely colour is coming back in. Don't be afraid about getting it down the sides and stuff. It's easy to put this on now. And then try and put it on once your resin's in. Because I'm going to actually try and uh, put a clear coat of resin over the top of this as well. So I'll continue with this. And we'll come back when it's time to pop our resin in. Okay, that's all nicely dry. We've had no problems with that. Let's start putting our resin in. The resin I'm going to use today, as always, and I love this stuff, is amazing clear cast. It's ideal because it comes in a part A and a part e, B, should I say, and you just mix it by volume. So literally, an inch of A, an inch of B, mix the two together, and I literally do pour that straight into there. I don't do a third container like the Asher 2 and I've never had any issues. Give it a good mixing round for the allocated time on the instructions and then these are the colours we're going to use today a red, an orange and a yellow. These you'll only need a couple of little droplets in each mix. We're basically going to put a red strip across here maybe a yellow, orange and red and then at the end when it's all done 
I'll do a little mix of clay resin and just cover the remainder of the wood that's showing and round the outside. Okay, we'll mix up our resin first. I'll do this off camera because it's boring stuff. Just follow the instructions. Always have your gloves on as you can see. Right, I'll start mixing my resin now. Right, as you can see from that, we've mixed our three colours up. Now all we've got to do is start feeding it round the letters. Don't be scared if you get it on here, it'll soon wipe off. I like to use these plastic spoons and forks because it gives you a nice little lip in the end like so. And you can basically pour it where you want it because obviously we've got to get inside the letter O and A's and E's and all the rest of it. So let's start putting this on now. And we'll see what we end up with. And just help it on its way slightly if need be. But hopefully it should find its own level. And you want to try and get the two different colours on before it starts going off. So the two will blend in together. Oops, just got away with that one, see? Also what I like to do is get a little cocktail stick and that'll just help you push it into the tighter areas. Right, I'll continue with this and we'll come back when this is all full because it's quite a slow process. Okay, that's filled in now. Literally just had enough to do it. We've got to wave it. All we need to do is get a lighter and just go over the top like this. You can do that for the next 10 minutes, come back in 10 minutes time, should I say, and go over it again. And all that's going to do is release all those bubbles and give some nice, hopefully, clear resin light. So, Right, we'll pop this to one side. I like to give it 24 hours. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how it's set. Okay, that's all nicely set. Nice shine on it. Once the background resin is set, I literally mixed up a small amount of clear resin and just used a paintbrush to brush all the front over and down the sides. And that's just, that's just set nicely solid. So there you have it. One, I love you to the moon and back. 12 inch across. Routed out. Plaque, backfilled with resin. Thank you for watching.